did not understand your cafe still to be called Rupert's. <laughs> Rupert had a following. We want them to come back. Oh, Gina, I can't thank you enough for these curtains. They just brighten up the whole room. <laughs> I can't imagine my own daughter-in-law doing anything like this for us. I would like very much to meet Robert's wife. He must be very happy. If my son loves her, that's all that matters. Oh, Gina, God should punish me for saying this, but I always imagined having a nice daughter-in-law, someone I could be friends with. I can hardly stand being around this one. Why? She is standoffish and rude. What'd she do? She has a nose so high in the air, she doesn't give a fly for anyone. She, she barges in front of people, pretty as you please. The way she's acting, she could get my son killed. As far as I'm concerned, she could just pack her bags and go on back to France. She come from France? Oh, Paris, France. Oh, why not tell me she's French? This is not a problem. This is, this is the way the French are. And I'm ensuring you that you are not to feel badly if your daughter-in-law, she is rude. Because to remember, the French are rude even to each other. I would love to visit France someday. With pleasure, I take you there. <laughs> Is it very different there than here? In some way, yes. In some way, no. I have to learn the custom. And if I went to France and stood in line at the grocery, people would look at me funny? <laughs> if you stood in line, you never get your food. <laughs> You hear what happened at the pharmacy? I did hear, and I'm sorry. I wish I could give you a guidebook or instructions. I read about the Hindus in India. The Hindus, they all know what they can and can't do. They know their place, so to speak, because they're born into it, can't get out of it. It's hard here in America to know what to do, how to act sometimes, because we're not supposed to have a caste system like the Hindus. It's not supposed to matter how you're born, which is what's beautiful about this country. But there are folks who give lip service to that, but you find out they don't practice it. In the same way that someone might ask, how are you, and doesn't truly want to know. <laughs> well, you say men fonts. <laughs> And everything in this country is what it seems. Mr. Davis, I insist to you, I do not worry what people think about me. I do not worry in France. I do not worry in America. And I admire you for it. But at the same time, you don't want to put yourself in a situation You don't have to worry about what people might think, but you should worry about what people might do. Just keep your eyes open. <laughs> Charlie. Hey, Gina. Nice surprise. I'm waiting for the bus. You go to the library? No, I, 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 uh, I go already. I went. I go every now and then. Why are you not tell me like reading the books? I did graduate high school for your information, in case you doubted it. And I do know how to read my own language. I'm not saying my English is the king's English or the queen's either, as far as that goes. And all I know about Italian is your name and words like spaghetti and Mussolini. I don't want to speak Italian. I want to speak English. This is America, no? You're damn right it is. Part of my French. What days you go to library? I come the same day and see you. We pick out a book for you to read to Emma. That way she learn good English from you. From me? Of course, from you. Who else? I don't know who else. Nobody else. 
What day should we meet at the library? Monday. OK, Monday. And Wednesday. And Tuesday. And Thursday. And Friday. <laughs> You're teasing me. <laughs> Bride, comma, Jerry Nell, G E R R Y N E L L E, long, comma, wore a floor length dress of white organza, O R G A N Z A, detailed with seed pearls, period. She carried a bouquet of yellow tea roses, period. New column, headline, the rebuilding begins. Subhead, not all citizens look the other way, period. Michael Sloan, capital M, capital S, has taken the homeless plight to heart and has vowed to build new top grade dwellings for Buckeyes. I have a hyphen separating top grade. Do you have a hyphen? It says here he was inspired by the plight of a homeless worker sleeping at his factory. He fired this man. Do you have a hyphen in top grade? Um, yes. This article is baloney. He... Forget the content. Pick it up after top hyphen grade dwellings for Buckeyes, period. Sloan was inspired by the plight of a homeless worker sleeping in his factory, period. Turkey or ham? Ham. I never thought I'd be grateful to Linda Metcalf for anything, but I do credit her with inspiring our new venture. White or rye? White. Plain or toasted? Toasted. There's a picture of her brother in our bread. <laughs> Isn't that bizarre? These are compliments of the couple in the corner. <laughs> they didn't send them to you, Slugger. The Bloody Mary's for the tomato juice girl. For me? They were in the audience. Love the show. Enjoy. Thank you. Free drinks. We're both famous. I'm proud of you, Ginger. I'll bet the magazines will send hordes of photographers to cover our wedding now. Cleveland Indians outfielder marries the limo girl. tomato girl why do you think i fired the last one because she was getting married the limo tomato juice girl is a hot tomato a cool cucumber a ripe peach she's no housewife how would i sell tomato juice with a ball and chain on my cans but you knew i had a boyfriend you can have a hundred boyfriends the more the better but i don't No buts you get hitched you forfeit your tomatoes Paris is getting back to normal. Just look at these hairdos revealed at the International Hairstylist Congress. And girls, if you want to brush up a new personality, the curling iron artists have dreamed up some wonderful possibilities. Goodness me, this transformation ought to scare hubby right out of his wits. How about this for next week's bridge party? Snazzy, what? Tired of that old permanent? Just add an extra bandeau of hair for that crowning touch. You'll have personality plus. Don't ask us plus what.